Good morning, Hell Divers. It's currently half past nine in the morning, and we're here diving into what looks like some more major bloody leaks inside of this game. It seems that the devs just have got no cadence when it comes to this bloody thing, and they just dive on in with you guys and start testing things in public. Oh, I absolutely love this. It's incredible. We've got loads of things coming your way, including a whole new armor sets that we've got vision of. We've got whole new trucks and vehicles. Vehicles, and we have got 22,000 files for sounds and news reports. There is so much in this video, it is going to be disgusting. But this is a leak-induced video. So please, 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 if you do not want to be spoiled by it, then make sure that you leave the video now, because this whole video is going to be revolved around the leaks that we've seen over the last 24 hours. With that being said... If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Control Freak, the number one in controller gaming aiming. That's right, guys. We made it rhyme. But not only that, we're going to give you guys 12% off your next purchase. If you head down to the description, go through to checkout and use code CLOUDPLAYS. It's better than 10%. That's all we've got for today. Let's dive on in to the information at large. So with that being said... The first post that we've got right here, a majority of these have come from the Discord. We have got a leaks and spoilers system that is in the Discord, link in the description. So if you guys want to see some of these leaks before they make it to the videos, then feel free to jump on in. For those of you guys who are posting things in there, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate you. But starting off, we've got this post right here, which has been up for a couple of days now and has got zero upvotes, which is random as hell. But it says, just saw a dev in my game with some unreleased items. I saw a dev in my game with some unreleased pistol, which shoots lasers and unreleased mech, which fires only rockets. An unreleased silenced weapon colored purple and even the unreleased car, which was already leaked once there were more I probably missed but I thought it was a rare occurrence and I might as well show some of you in case you want to see if you want you can look at the several videos and screenshots I've attached now obviously this is a reddit post so it may be an actual developer it may be somebody acting as a developer but irrelevant to it all of these things are in the in-game files now it states right here that PS I just realized you can only post one video blah blah blah, blah. so we've got the links down here for it you guys can go and check all of this out yourself if you want to links always in the description so you can always just go down and check it out yourself but the first thing that we've got right here the hell divers 2 unreleased items screenshots and you can see right here it's kind of obvious who it is this armor set looks absolutely awesome i love the look of it it's got that almost stormtrooperish vibe or at least that's what the white coloring is it's like a matted white with an orange hinge it looks absolutely incredible massive massive love for that one can't wait to see what more they bring to the table which does match up with some more stuff we've got coming later down the line on the video anyway we have got the truck that comes up here an unreleased truck that we have not seen yet is a car with a turret on it which looks a grade obviously we've got screenshots of the armor and there are some blurry images but it's holding the laser pistol which you can't really see too well so we're not going to focus too much on that one but there is also a clip that he has got in large now this one has obviously got the main truck with the turret on the back it looks crazy don't get me twisted it's on fire so not much use to anybody but it does look pretty damn cool all the same and then we have got the laser pistol he obviously went and died and had himself ready for reinforce and spectated this dude and the pistol just looks absolutely incredible it looks so damn cool and i'm so excited for this thing because i just think that it's just aesthetically pleasing you can see them actively testing things out which actually looks really really interesting indeed now on top of that though we've got another post right here which i was only up nine hours ago which states that there's a big leak coming as this person has obviously dove into the game files and managed to find over twenty-two thousand files with sounds and news reports now i don't want to play them on the video because i don't know what i can and can't play but the link again is down in the description for you guys to listen to it's quite interesting actually and it really adapts into the law quite well and i'm kind of of interested to see what a lot of these things mean but it's looking like there's potentially bigger bugs and you also hear about a black hole 
yeah, you, you heard me correctly, a black hole. But it does sound like there may be some more mutation side effect modifiers coming with like the Terminides and even with the Automaton. So we were interested to see where that one could be going. But over on the actual Reddit page, we have a post here from Dr. Ark. Now, I don't know where he got this from because it doesn't have the original source material in it. But you guys can see four new skins which are meant to be a part of the new Battle Pass, aka Warbond. And these things look really, really cool indeed. We've also got like this right here, which is like the sergeant militant look. It looks hilarious, to be honest. Not anything that I would use personally, as I'd feel a little bit like a Darth Vader from Wish, but irrelevant to it, it looks pretty damn cool nonetheless. We have this one right here, which is almost like a medium armor that has sort of like that gas mask effect to the front of it. We have also got this one here, which looks a bit like a eroded styled armor. They've all got these sorts of like big gas mask style masks on, on the helmets. Maybe that's a theme that they're running with for that battle pass. I have no idea. But then we've got this one here. This one's my favorite. This is the hazard perception. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a heavy, although it looks like it could be a medium. But this hazard perception style looks absolutely nutty. Now, like I state, these could be concepts because they were posted on the Discord leaks and spoilers with no source material to it at all but that is bloody cool and if that comes in i think there is no amount of money that i won't pay to get my hands on this hazmat suit i want to know which one you guys are more interested in out of those four and out of the leaks that we've managed to give you guys today what it is that you are the most interested in overall Okay, now before we carry on in this video, we are giving away a copy of Helldivers 2 or the Super Credit equivalent in pricing for you guys to obtain. Now, we have just given away the last load and we announced that in the community page and in the Discord. So that's how we're obviously working that one right now. But if you guys want to get involved with this one, stick a blue heart down in the comment section below and we can start rolling in with this. It'll be a couple of videos long and in a few days time, we'll give away this copy or the Super Credits equivalent money money's worth. Let me know if you guys want to get involved, comment section, and we can dive in. Now, something that we know that we all want and have heard quite a bit on, but haven't had exactly like confirmation to that degree yet, is melee weapons. Well, there actually is one person out there with 8,100 upvotes. It's got a really, really large following to it, but there is a guy that will not stop till he is given a melee weapon, and he has done a nice little mission here with an achievement of 116 melee kills. That is mental. Something that I've not even tried to do, but I'm now really, really tempted to try and go ahead and see how many people I can kill with a melee. If you guys have done it, let me know what your max total is because that is hilarious. But I feel like that is a really, really big way to push for those melee weapons to show people that they actually would be used. Now, one thing that wouldn't be used are these bloody modifiers that we're seeing at the moment. I don't know how you feel about it, but this one right here was posted up on Reddit with over 2,900 upvotes. It states right here, does anyone honestly see this combination and think, wow, that looks fun? Increased challenge aside, these effects are lame. And you can see we've got an orbital fluctuations, which the stratagem cooldown increased by 50%. That sucks, completely sucks. And then we've got the complex stratagem plotting. The stratagem calling in time is increased by 100%. These are not effects that we want to have. This is a little bit ridiculous and I'm not too sure why on earth this would be a combination that would ever be played into. And even if they were going to go down this route of having these operational modifiers, at least have some positive modifiers to counterbalance this. Don't just have it always on a negative partake. I think that we do kind of, if we're going to have one of these big detractions when it comes to the stratagem cooldown, the stratagem calling time, especially as they've made obviously the spawn rates ridiculous and made everything so difficult that they've told us we need to organize our stratagems better to make sure that we're utilizing them to take out the ads at hand because it shouldn't be that difficult then at least at least give us a positive on top of that a hundred percent call in time and 50 percent increased on the cooldown dude that is awful now unfortunately that's what we've got time for today though we've had a good morning this morning i've had so much fun in the discord going through and looking at all the stuff that you guys have been talking about it's been absolutely nutty and i can't wait to get online for a video for you guys later on tonight to see what it is that we can bring to you guys on the table if there's anything else you want to add for these videos then please 
please please get hold of me via the discord it'd be absolutely incredible we're keeping our ear to the floor and we try and bring you guys all the updated news for Helldivers 2. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Subscribe, post notifications turned on. Appreciate your faces, and I'll see you in the clouds.